Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see activity number 7 for class 12 maths applied mathematics. The activity is rolling dice using Excel. That is simulation of dice using Excel. So as usual, the write-up part is given in the Word document and the left hand side is the activity to be done. So go to Excel to open new spreadsheet. We have already opened a new spreadsheet here. To get the symbols, we are going to insert, insert, go to symbols. Here, select the symbol. See, Joe UI symbol. Select this symbol. Okay. In that, you could see the die symbol here. You could see the die symbol here. Select these die symbols and insert in your column number 2. So, here, I wish to select 1, insert, 2, insert, 3, insert, Okay, yes, it is inserted there only. So, I have inserted 3. Now, 4, insert, 5, insert, 6, insert. Okay, so all the 6 symbols of dice number 1 to 6 are added here. Now, I paste them in the column one by one. Number one, then I cut. Number two in the second column. Number three, just cut, copy, paste only. Cut, paste. So, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, 6 symbols we have inserted and we have given the number to the symbols, number to the dice. Now, we can go and add the selection. Selection. Go to the next new cell. Once you have select, um, inserted the die symbol from the insert symbol column give a number to each die symbol each face then go to the next cell here the syntax to select a number is equal to rand between rand between that means randomly we are going to select between number 1 comma 6 enter so, one number is displayed. Click this. Drag it to the next cell. You will get one more number. So, randomly you are selected two numbers. You have selected two numbers because two dice are to be rolled. So, two numbers you have selected. Now, below the first number, the cell below the first number. Click the cell below the first number. There you type a syntax equal to V look up we look up open the bracket open the bracket click the cell under which you have typed this formula number one no, no this cell click the cell comma select your entire thing where you have typed the number and the cell just select automatically the number will be displayed there okay comma so after the equal to we look up open the bracket Click the cell above the VLOOKUP formula, comma, select the entire table which is consisting of the number and the symbol of the die, comma. We are going to select the symbols. Symbols are in the second column, second line. So, put number 2. 
comma, once you put number 2, you will get the range lookup, whether it is true or false. When the number what you have selected is true or false, you type, uh, just click false here. If the click is not displayed, the false is not displayed there, just you can type false over there. Close the bracket and put enter. You will get the die displayed there. So for number one, num one die is displayed. Problem. Again, you can type the next number below the next number. Put equal to below the next number. First number, we put the formula and we got the respective die symbol. For the second die also, below the number, you type the same process what you have done for the first one. We look up, open the bracket, click the above cell, comma, select the entire table number and the die, comma, put number 2, comma, type false, close the bracket and enter. Now, two dies are displayed. Now, either um, adjust these dies at the center, place them, align them in the center, align them in the center, and we can increase the font size that um, die size you can increase. See this symbol. Click the A symbol. Here after the font size, there is a A with the um, triangle in its superscript row there. You click it, the size of the dice will get increased. Right? I think it's enough. Now, we can adjust this corner to get it near to the die size, exactly in the die size. Just I am adjusting the line spacing like this. Okay. And select this picture. Um, you can just remove its borders. Just give white color so that the borders will be removed. So what we did, I just select the picture, adjust it at the center and remove the borders. Now click one picture, control C, control C. I have copied this cell and go to sheet number 2, there, there, just right click, you will get more paste options, below this link, there is a <coughs> button, no? click this. Here you will get a one more linked option. Click this. So, your image is pasted as linked picture. So, you can do any adjustments with this picture. So, if you want, you can maximize this size. Right? You can maximize this size. You can change its shapes. Anything you can do. Now, Control D. We can copy this one more. Change it. This one is a new picture. So change here in between the number formula bar. In the formula bar, instead of C, you put D R E. Put D R E. Now you got two different dice. Two dice you got. Now press function key which is near in the keypad keyboard near the window you can find a key called fn so that function key you press function key then click f9 see you can see the simulation in the dice the dice are changing see here so this is how we are simulating the dice the same way in sheet 1 also it will be changing Press the function key, then put F9. See here, according to the changing of the number, this is, the dies are also changing. So, this is called simulation of dies.
hope this video will be useful to you thank you